my name is Shitian from PictureHero.com. Today I'm going to show you how to find your flying star base feng shui chart. So this one is similar to the annual feng shui chart, but the annual one changes every year. This one is like a first chart of your house. It's more permanent and we can find it from some online calculators. Everything's already calculated, you just have to find it. So let's get started. The first thing we need to know is the time element in the feng shui. In the flying star feng shui, we have nine periods of time, and each period is about 20 years. And you probably heard of it, we are in the period 8 right now. And here I have a little chart. The period 8 start from 2004 to 2023. So we are almost at the end of the period 8 and we are going to the period 9. We call this San Yuan Feng Shui because we have three different sections. We have upper, middle and lower part. Each section has three periods. We start with period 1 and after 20 years is period 2, period 3. Those three periods are called Shang Yuan, that's for the upper part. And then four, five, six is the middle one, Zhong Yuan. And then seven, eight, nine is Xia Yuan. So after we go through the nine period, it go back to period one again. So the stars change, the good luck will become bad luck, the bad luck becomes good luck. That's just the cycle of Feng Shui. And that's the same in our real life. So why is this important to find your base feng shui chart? Because in the flying star feng shui, the building's birth chart depends on the construction date. So if it's constructed in the period 6 or period 7, for example, it's different from the chart in period 8 or period 9. If you have the big renovation, that means the period is updated. For example, if you have a building that's built in period 6, but you made a big renovation in period 7, that building can consider a period 7 building. So what is a big renovation? Usually they consider one third or half of the building being renovated, that's considered a big renovation. For example, the renovation to replace the whole roof or replace the floor. If it's just a minor renovation in a small area, it doesn't really count. Another consideration is the time you move into the space because that's an important consideration that you bring the qi to this space. Besides the time, the second important thing you have to know is the facing direction of your building. I talk about it in a different video. You can find your direction through a smartphone app. That's probably the easiest way. You can just download free, hold your phone and point it to the front of your building and then it shows exact degree of your facing direction. So many people are confused about which side is the facing direction because sometimes the main entrance is not the front of the building. Uh, for example, like uh, in a big condominium building, every unit probably have a different entrance facing direction and uh, that might not be the same as the main building entrance facing direction. For the flying star feng shui, the facing direction is actually the direction of the whole building. So if there's a traffic go through in the front and the building is designed to face that direction and that's the facing direction. Regardless of the individual small unit, the whole building should have one facing direction. And it's usually the brightest part with the most windows and most traffic. I 
have several links to online calculator. They are all free. Uh, I'll write it in the description below. You can use any of them. So this chart is more permanent and it lasts for usually 20 years if you don't do the renovation. So compared to the annual flying star chart, this is a more of a base chart. But most people say the annual chart because it changed so fast. If you do the phone shape according to the annual chart, you can see the result faster. So when you look at the chart you print out from the calculator, usually there will be three numbers. There will be a base number and on the top left and top right corner there will be a two smaller number. And on the top left is the seating number. On the right is the facing number. The left side is the mountain and the right side is the water. Mountain is related to, to human relationships, to health. And the water is related to wealth and the money and business. Some of the calculator also generate the combination of those two numbers and uh, they will tell you what it means to have a one six combination or two seven combination and you can get an idea. It's like a reading a birth chart. So that's how you calculate your flying star base feng shui chart. Now it's so easy to come up with the charts just input some numbers and the computer will generate the chart for you. And the stars meaning remains the same from 1 to 9. It just fly to a different area in different day, different time, different year. Some calculator also generates monthly chart for you. But it gets more complicated. Hope you have a good time finding your flying star feng shui chart. Now you can compare your base feng shui chart to the annual star feng shui chart and find your best direction. We also have the 2018 flying star feng shui chart free download in the description below. And let us know if you want to know any topics about the feng shui. We'll try to do a video about that topic. Thank you.